They do all the hard work picking out the videos Making critiques and suffer through editing I just swoop in and steal all the glory Reacting to reactors reacting Let's see what's going on here And she has a voice like Michelle A. Let's get to it. I like her voice. This is the second time I've seen this intro, and I like it. I'm getting caught. Except that part. Yes, your eyes did not deceive you. This is gonna be my first time hearing Mariah Carey's vision of love. So for anybody who's been following the channel, you guys know I've been reading the meaning of Mariah Carey. Great book, like whole new respect for her, like I already like loved her, but like this is like wow, like respect. So anyway, boom, I'm reading the book, and if you know anything about the book, she has like her lyrics throughout in very like poignant parts of the book. Like it's she has so a book? Cool. She didn't Mariah Carey can't write. And if you got the audience, <laughs> yeah, talking you about hear her singing the parts, whatever. It's cool. So I had the so lyrics. Anyway, I'm like, dang, I don't really know these songs though. You know <laughs> and let me just backtrack myself before y'all start How long doing is those the... like virtual writing tomatoes at me, right? So again, I am Okay, this is eight. Starts at Glitter. I'm a glitter baby. Glitter and beyond. So I like the glitter actually. Because it's so funny. Part, okay, it's eight minutes. Three. I don't need to listen to this because like, this is not a reaction to the song. Project, so, all right, she's got 821 views. Yeah, and this came out October. We need to up that. Same. She's got 3,000 <laughs> subscribers. So like, three and a half thousand like, subscribers. Lively, if you like her video, the link is in the description. You can head over there. So after you cool. like and subscribe here, here. do not okay. leave like, here without subscribing. This is a long ass. I'll be honest, it's coming like, up on two minutes. Station, All right. But on the old school station, it's about like five Mariah songs. Like they play that fantasy remix. You, you don't know Vision of Love. <laughs> Always be okay, my baby. Always be my baby. You might hear emotions and you might hear honey. You always gonna hear that. We belong together. Okay, but again, that's my era, Mariah. So anyway, I'm like, dang, let me listen to the song that made this lady. When this song came out, Vision of Love, you know like the song before people saw the video, girl, people I thought know, she I was black. So let's go. Vision of Love, right? And she co may call herself black because she's a mixed race. So I don't know how she identifies, but when people saw her in 1990, they thought of her as white. But when they heard her, they thought she was black. First 10 seconds, it's very moody, right? It sounds like something is... Ruin, you know what I'm saying? Okay. I like that. That's true. And they got the visuals there too, making it sound like a feel like a storm is coming. Ooh, so 30 seconds in, I'm already hooked, right? I'm like, shoot, how much this record costs? Let me buy it. Just from that opening that treated me kind. Woo! Come on, let's go. Carry me through desperation. To the one that was waiting for me. It took so long. Still I believe. Somehow the one that I needed. This song just builds in a beautiful way. Is she gonna go into details of how she feels about the lyrics, the music? Ooh, can I just say how much I am loving this background? The background singing? That's my dog. Building. It's just slowly building, almost imperceptible.
Is she gonna do a breakdown at the end? Is that how it goes? I wonder if she's hitting the lyrics. I know she's listening to the, the, the way she is singing, like her voice. That's what I'm feeling. Okay, I, I think I I think I figured something out. I think I figured something out about you all's expectations as far as reactions. Uh, okay, I, I got something. I got something. She's gonna like this then. I think I, I, I think I got something here. Some of y'all got kids, so you know what I'm going through. Well, I'm not comparing my dog to your kids, but Yo, I am. So, what have my ears been missing? This is one of the songs that's not even a song. It's like, it's an experience. Especially okay. Especially when the dueling Mariah started singing. Oh, uh, okay. 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 It's like, whoa, it just came out of left field. Well, we got a lot of time I left, too. To happen, and it sounds so good. Okay. But then, also, like... Is there a true chorus in this song? Like a true reframe, right? Because it's like, I know. It just keeps building. Like, There's no. Okay, yep, but, but that's not a chorus. I, know, I like, like it now. Like so it's a breakdown. So if I come like, to her video, she like does a breakdown at the song, end. Man. Woo! And not only that, like the, the title itself, Vision of Love. Yo, Mariah did her thing, killed it. It's like, I went to church. If I would have known anybody, I would think maybe she was from the South because. It just has such a, a ch southern, like, church feel to it. Yeah, tens across the board, of course, right? It's Mariah. Okay, let's go. Drop some comments below. Let me know. The first time you had Vision of Love, like, what was your reaction? Because this song would have definitely made me a fan back then. You know, if I was alive, I would have been like, God, <laughs> if I was alive. <laughs> it's one of them songs, too. 1990. It's so good. If it's like one of them songs that make you want to sing <laughs> like i'm sure this was probably like a song at many talent shows because this was one of those songs you like oh I, I can you think you can sing it but you really can't but it just sounds so good and you was like oh, man, you <laughs> but anyway, sorry anyway, drop some comments below subscribe if you haven't already and uh share this video if you will all right guys hope you guys are like staying safe feeling good looking good i'll see you guys next time Okay, let me pause for a second. Hey guys, you any reading? Be Let's sure go, boy. My books on Let's go. They're in paper Let's go. and ebook format. <laughs> He's in the bathroom. He no happy. He no happy with me. <laughs> um. All right, that was like. That saved it in the end for me. And boom. Okay. <laughs> okay, this this halt this for a second. Everybody's got a personality, their own personality. Some people are low key. Some people are really hyped up by nature, just how they were born. I get down with that 100%. But if someone is laying it on thick and it's f to the point where it's fake and I can feel it's fake, I get anxiety. And I cannot watch that shit. I just can't. Man, my subscriber base is going to be so narrow <laughs> because of all the rules that I'm putting on myself. I'm just excluding 
chunks and chunks of <laughs> possible subscribers. I can't do it any other way though. If he's back now, you can hear him barking. He wants to get in, but we're going to finish this because something tells me, even though this video, their video is five minutes and 37 seconds, I'm probably not going to be able to watch the whole thing unless I feel that all of that energy that they're throwing at me is coming from their heart, like from the inside. If it's coming from their heart, I'm going to connect with it. But if it's like some kind of they're throwing it at me, they're throwing all this fake energy at me. I'm out. All right. This, let's see what's going on here. What's up, YouTube? What we guys are doing? What's up, guys? I'm you guys a new guest. He's in Lakeover. So, you know how I'm going to react to Brianna too? Anytime you need a friend. This is about the first time you're in this guy, so let's check it out. You guys know how to talk less about it. We're at small. Let's get into the video. Wow. Ooh, that was a lot. <laughs> Bring it down. Okay, keep the energy down. Let's be like authentic, straight up. I'm not saying that's not their true selves. I can't hear them. The music is too loud. Okay. Beauty in the song with Malakaya vocals in it. Like, they are. They're like. It's beautiful, guys. I don't know the word I'm going to use, but. Okay. Add something beautiful in the music with Malakaya vocals in it. I like this. I like this. I like this. I like it when they're like that. It's that extra energy that. I like it. I like it. Their music is loud and I can't hear them so much when the music is playing. I wish I could hear them more. They may not have heard the song before. They may not have heard the song before. I don't know. Can you put it in the comments if you think they've, they've heard this before? He doesn't seem like he's heard it before. He sounds like this is the first time he's hearing these notes. It is. It is. I need to. <laughs> this, is, this is beautiful. 
Okay, okay. Subscribe to our channel, guys. Make sure you subscribe to our channel, guys. Peace and makeover. Drop down your comment, share the videos, main and subscribe, support us on Patreon, guys. We we'll see you guys in the next reaction. Make sure you stay. See. Okay. All right. In this video, us reacting to old man best reacting to can't let go. Let go. They do all the hard work picking out the videos Making critiques and suffer through editing I just swoop in and steal all the glory Reacting to reactors reacting What is up y'all? Welcome back to the channel As I always say over here in this little dirty corner of YouTube It's us As reactors reacting to reactors reacting to some of my favorite songs in in this video Mariah Carey can't let go this song came out in 1991 I was later in that year I went into the military but earlier in that year when this song came out I was homeless again <laughs> this was intentional though I was homeless so I can save the money up from rent so I can go to Europe but I was homeless in, on Miami Beach. I was living on the beach in Miami Beach. I was working at Denny's and um, every like week and a half, I would get a motel room so I could shower all that sand off because like I said, I was living in the beach. That's when this song comes to when I hear this. And this is when Mariah was good. This is early Mariah. This I think this was the second. Come on, man. Let me do this. I think this was the second album. Uh, the first one came out in 89. So this, I think. And this is 91. And this is when she still was with um, Tommy Mottola, if I'm not mistaken. So she had lush vocals. It was less hip hop -y. It was very lush and like a soaring kind of a thing. And this particular song, Can't Let Go, is such a beautiful performance and such like a heart rend, is it rending? Heart rending? Type of, um, especially when she gets into the later part, like she's, basically shaking her man or her ex-man by the shoulder saying can't you see how much you mean to me I can't let you go so we have old man best it says first time hearing this if he's an old man I can't imagine how this is the first time but we're gonna give it a shot this is Mariah Carey can't let go. Let me put my headphones on. Let's do this. Okay, this is the intro. Doesn't look like an old man based on that avatar. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the club. What is old you now? Fun, you can't get in. Hit that subscribe button. It's 35 old. Join and we back again with another reaction video today. He's hype. Ryan Carey vocal He's showcase hype. can't let go live. From SNL, man. So you know what, y'all been. I, I said it in the last video. Y'all been showing love on these Mariah Carey reactions. So you know what, as long as y'all want to keep seeing them, okay. I'll keep posting them, man. This you never heard this that. before. This works. It's give and take. So it's give and take. Love, all right, all right. Been calm down. So looking at the watch time, y'all have been watching the videos all the way through to the end. So you know what. I can't even make y'all wait. A lot of times I like to play the waiting game and I'll say, okay, I'm going to hold off for a while. I'm going to see if they're going to start commenting, if they're going to start asking where the reaction's at. But you know what? I can't even do y'all like this. So, again, it's got a little bit of a personality. Today, I know y'all ready to get into it. I'm the same This way. shit ain't e in easy, so I hear you. I don't know if I've seen this performance, this SNL performance before, so this is new to me too. I know the song very well, though.
That's when she had that nice long curly hair. Oh, this looks like a video that's going to show when she goes off. Goes off key or hits high notes, I'm not sure. What is this video? Let it go. Listen to the song. Watch the reaction. The background singers are great too. Yeah. Okay. I'm trying to see his feeling. He's got rhythm. He's staying with the beat. Fyodor, calm down. Curious, you know what? I'm gonna put y'all on the spot because, yeah, like I said, y'all what you got a lot of love on these videos. So I'm what you got to see where do you have Mariah Carey in your personal um, all time trivia? List. You cut me off just to, for trivia in your top five singers of all time. All right, I'm not talking about we're not doing the male list we early, the early list. Mariah, one list, early Mariah, one list for your life. Is she in your top five? She's in my top 10 as far as you know, early Mariah. He's not into it. He's not into it. All right. I don't understand this kind of a reaction. I don't know, just, I don't see, can you tell me how he feels about this? Is he impressed by any of the notes, any of the, is he bored? He says that people watch this, his videos from beginning to end. Watching him watch the video with no emotion, I'm, this is what I'm doing for the rest of this video. I'm gonna do what he does for the rest of the video. We get a reaction when she fucking breaks her fucking throat. Alright. I still don't know how she managed to do that, man. That's still one of the world's greatest mysteries to me. Alright, let's see if there's a breakdown. And there she goes, that smile. Whenever I always say it, whenever somebody cracks a smile like that after a performance, you know that they know that they just killed it. And it's that okay, I like that. I like yeah, that. I really want to know. Hopefully, y'all commented already where you got Mariah sitting on your top. That's it. Because I want to know, man, and I want to know why. Because it's like it's so many different people that you could put on that list. But whenever you start narrowing down to like a top three or a top five or top, this three, is filler. This is fluff. Let's go and bam. What is good, YouTube? What's good, everybody? I hope you guys are having a good day. It is your favorite YouTuber, Gia Boss here, and today we're going to be doing a reaction <laughs> to Mariah Carey till the end of time. Yes. So, uh, I just want to say that I hope you guys are having a good one. Thank so, you. Uh, leave a like on the video. I'd really appreciate that. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Uh, share the video. Do whatever you I will want. Let the Even hit. if you want to dislike the video, go for it. I don't really care. <laughs> oh, you don't care? <laughs> it's all, all right. over here. Uh, but we're gonna check this out. It's See, we all video. suck. No offense to him. He's a good person. So we just suck at react. doing this job. So, <laughs> but, anyways, but we gotta to suck before we can get good. So, he's young. But I was young when this in '91. 
I mean, it's not deep, yeah, no but rhyme. it's. Oh, please don't fuck this up for me, please. And this song is slow. Nobody's expecting this. It's slow. It's slow build. Slow build. That's my boy over there. He loves to do that. Geo Boz. Link to his channel is in the description of this video if you go over there like like his stuff and be positive no negative it's like he's listening and uh, not just listening it's that's powerful He wants it to pick up. People his age and that aren't used to this pace. But it's picking up slowly. I don't mean to paint everybody with a broad butt brush, but y'all are used to choppy, choppy, choppy. That's what y'all been fed in your social media and your entertainment and all of that. So to be able to appreciate a slow build is unique for youngsters in general. Okay, the drums kicked in, so everybody's caught up now. Okay, calm down. This is a sad song. This is not one of those snap your finger songs, if you understand. To each his own. Are you feeling that? Are you hearing that? How long is this video? Breakdown at the end, I'm assuming. Even though this song is pretty long. Eight minutes might be <laughs> close to the end of this song. <laughs> That's funny, his socials keep coming in and out in and out in and out see the only reason why i'm stopping this right now it's just because i don't want a copyright claim which i'm probably gonna still get but i just want to say that this is really actually beautiful you know like i don't get it um how she can sound this good you know i know this is back about probably 10 10 10 12 years ago but um she sounded really you know amazing as a singer and this is 20 years ago like, like, this a lot was of people just sleeps on the lyrics that she got like people are like yo she sounds so amazing but i'm here focused on the lyrics like for crying out loud she writes her own songs and she has very good meaningful songs it's not like she's singing a song saying i'm gonna fly to the moon i'm gonna do this and i'm gonna do that she's actually singing something that is meaningful something that you can actually reflect on and see who wrote this song amazing just to sit back and feel good quality sound with good quality words that's rare and it's good and it's very enjoyable lyrics by mariah music by exactly. mariah and so, walter the i forget his name but like I, I can't see it my i can't see this small print but he produced all of her shit or the music uh, walter afrin afrinaf or something like that Maybe this is a snap finger song, not for me, but for him. And he understands the lyrics, he says. Didn't that cut through you a little bit? He looks like, ple like this is pleasant. This is devastating. It's devastating. His energy is different from this song's energy. This woman is tearing her heart out.
He's just like a bemused. Right in the middle of the run. Alright, I'm going to start reacting to this one now. I don't know if I need... Is he going to surprise me in the last two minutes? I don't know if this is an early video of his. Okay, the spirit just told me that people feel things differently and they react to things differently. He might be as deep into this song as I like to think that I am. And this is the way he feels it. It seems like he does understand. Yep, you see, it's just his face is not naturally crazy expressive, but you can see that it's bouncing around in his body and in his head until he looks at his watch <laughs> all right let's see what this breakdown is going to be like one minute hi hey man <laughs> let me let me tell you the truth let me tell you the truth like if i can actually if i can actually play this song again in a reaction video again i would like seriously it's really a beautiful song and like i said you know it's mariah people overlook her lyrics but i don't just look at i don't just listen to what she you know how she sounds i listen to you know what she says her lyrics were worth like, overlooking like, once she left sony you know, and tommy so mottola lyrics after that didn't even matter but so before like this it's really awesome to listen to her i don't get the most views from mariah period, right? But it's really actually a good feeling anytime I make a reaction video for her. But anyways, man, that's gonna be the end of the video. Please leave a like on the video, subscribe to my channel, and... Okay, Mariah Carey. This is my original Mariah Carey. This is her very first. This was four CDs, so that's why I have a cassette. Came out in 1990, if I'm not mistaken. 90 or 89? 90 came out in 1990 what we're going to react to or we're going to be reacting to a reactor react to her very first single big single anyway i don't know what she's done before this was what made mariah mariah very first single is called vision of love love that song as you can see i played it a lot that tape is probably stretched thin and reacting to, oh, okay, this is a, <laughs> reacting to Vision of Love is someone who I reacted to before, but I had to dip out because she had heard the song before. So it's not a reaction if you've heard the song before. So we're back with her, her name is Empress. It says in her title, first time hearing, Mariah Carey reaction, Vision of Love. She slayed with no mercy okay so she put that up after she heard it for the first time in this video let's get into this and see exactly what i like from her last video is her energy not energy because energy people misinterpret that they, they 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 think that means throwing a lot of sound and you know fury at you but energy meaning like something that seemed she was reacting to a michael jackson video don't stop till you get enough if i'm not mistaken and you can see she, even though she heard the song before she liked the song so i interpret her reaction to that song as being a song that she liked and it was pleasant but i didn't like the fact that she had heard the song before. anyway let's see what's going on here all right that was like that saved it in the end for me the breakdown now I was about to say that people's breakdowns can be right or wrong, 
but the only person who can say that is the artist who, you know the person who write it wrote it so um, some people may not agree with what people are saying in the breakdown in their breakdown but that doesn't matter to me as long as they come with an opinion so let's go with the scoring react oh what I was gonna tell y'all that hits exactly with my number one score the reactor score not the lyric breakdown not the song breakdown but they're entertaining they're inter they're how entertained was I by their reaction what I learned by watching this video is that you saw how she was act how she was acting when the song was playing when Mariah would hit certain notes and stuff like that if she wasn't by herself if she was by herself in her house she wouldn't react like that physically you know she'd be listening she might get into it or something like this but she wouldn't be like all back and clapping like that but what she what she was doing was reacting without doing the lyric breakdown that was the entertainment part of it and what is hard to do is to make that look authentic and she does it's exaggerated. I, I don't know her, so I can't say for sure how she is when she's by herself, but I'm going to make assumptions. I'm assuming that when she's by herself and she hears a song that she likes, that she is not like physically demonstrative. But she is when she's doing a reaction on camera. So, even though that wasn't a lyric breakdown then, and if she would have ended the video without giving a lyric breakdown, like when the song ended, she just say okay thanks for coming to my channel but she had done on the all that performance during the song that's enough for a lot of y'all that's enough for a lot of y'all and I don't know 100% if it's enough for me for her but it's pretty damn close I was gonna uh, she would have suffered in the scoring so the reactor score the performance I would have given her a 10 and then the accuracy of the reaction, meaning the breakdown, I would have given her zero. But she had that. She had that too. That's what some people don't have the breakdown and y'all still like them. Cause a lot of reactors just dance to the music and then when the song is over, they say goodbye. And y'all, I saw a lot, a lot of y'all like that because a lot of these people have a thou thousands of subscribers wow I gotta think of what that means for my channel as far as what I accept as a re first of all I'm not changing you, you gotta have heard the song for the first time but if you can get your feelings out during the course of the song without saying anything there's a channel like sincerely KSO or KOS or something like that she does a, I think she's great. She does a great verbal breakdown, but a lot of times, and I've seen like three of her videos or four, no, maybe about three, three. She does a good physical reaction too, that seems authentic. And that's the key, it's gotta be, some people go crazy and they, oh my God, it's like the best thing I've ever heard. And when you know it's not, you can see it on their face, it's like they're dying inside to keep that fake energy up. But people like Sincerely KSO, I think it is. And this young lady here. What is it? Empress. See, I'm going to keep that in my head. They could uh, make you feel that. It may not be authentic. They might be great actresses. But they give you the feeling that it's authentic. So that's what I learned. What In the future, if I get great reactions that are physical, but there's no verbal breakdown, it's still gonna hit my, sh I don't need to change shit. Everything is the same. But now I appreciate more the performance of the reaction if it appears to be authentic. But I ain't gonna take that into consideration if there's no lyric breakdown. Bam, bam, I just worked that shit out right in front of you. All right, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this channel, please subscribe. A lot of people are watching my channel, but 
they're not subscribing because I don't ask in a strong arm kind of a way. Like, come on, please subscribe, subscribe. I put the little thing up so you, you know, ching, ching, ching. But subscribe, please, so I can keep doing this. I would love to keep doing this. I want to branch into movies and music that I'm not familiar, like first time for me hearing somebody react to something for the first time, you know? Anyway, thank you so much. I'll see you next time. Mariah Carey. The song we will be reacting to a reactor reacting to is from the uh, CD Music Box, which came out in 92, 93, Sony. Track number three, that's Music Box. Track number three, That's who we're going to be reacting to. Number three, track number three is Anytime You Need a Friend. In 1993, I was living in Japan. My future wife, who is my current ex-wife, uh, loved Mariah Carey. As a matter of fact, when we were living in Los Angeles, my wife met Mariah Carey at a signing. It was, uh, Mariah Carrier was at the Tower Records in Los Angeles for the Music Box CD. And we saw Mariah at the uh, concert. She was doing a concert. She was doing a signing at the record store. Do record stores still exist? CD store, Tower Records on Sunset Boulevard, if I'm not mistaken, if memory serves. Um, and then that night she saw the, uh, we saw a Mariah in concert. I'm gonna have to pause this for one second because my dog is not gonna have the door to get in. I'm gonna let him in. I'm gonna see if he's gonna leave me alone or if he's gonna fight with me while I try to talk to you all. I don't like to do any editing. That's why, I'm, but I'm telling you, he's on the porch now and is, uh, he's about knocking on the door. And he's not gonna let me get through this video. Anyway. He left again, so he's not on the porch anymore. Anyway, from Music Box, did I say that's the one? No, uh, my ex-wife met Mariah Carey in Los Angeles. This is Music Box, it wasn't for Music Box. It's for the Butterfly one. I think it was called Butterflyers. And she still has the wristband. My dog's at the door again. We're going through, he's gonna have to wait. All right. Reacting to Anytime You Need a Friend is, the name of the channel is called The Perseverance. The Perseverance. They've got 12,000 subscribers and 4,000 views on this video. Y'all gonna hear him knocking. I'm not, I'm gonna be listening to music, so I feel sorry for y'all. <laughs> sorry. All right, let's go. Okay, all right. I have to say, <laughs> It's hard not to like those guys. It's hard not to like those guys. It didn't slide into my normal criteria for, criteria? Criteria for how I like reaction videos because that energy level is outside of my comfort zone. But, There's some sort of authenticity in there. It feels like I can see some, it's not, it's not all fake, but it's not all authentic, but there's some authenticity in there. And sometimes that authenticity takes over and it dominates that other stuff. And that's when it's good. Like when you, he's really, you can tell that he's really impressed by a thing. He's not just, you know, when he's yelling, Mariah, when he's yelling her name, we know that's fake. Because unless you're, you know, or having relations, there's no reason for you to yell her name out multiple times. Um, I think I'm going to have to go and get my dog. But, um, 
there there's something about their energy that you can't deny not that crazy up their energy but i don't know i'm gonna have to see another video so hopefully i don't pick the reactor and then get the song i pick the song and then find a reactor so if they show up again on a song that i'm looking for a reactor for i will listen to them again because i want to see how consistent that is because people's personalities are people's personalities and this is a first look like this might be the first time you are seeing me and you say oh what an asshole that guy is and i understand that i don't think of myself as an asshole but maybe from this video it appears that i am but i'm not so i need to ask for your patience and seeing who i am take another look at another video to prove that i'm not an asshole and so i'm gonna look at another one of their videos i'm not gonna score them because i would normally shut this kind of video off but we went all the way through and we'll look at another one in this video mariah carey can't let go this song came out in 1991 i was later in that year i went into the military but earlier in that year when this song came out i was homeless again <laughs> this was intentional though i was homeless so i can save the money up from rent so i can go to europe but i was homeless in, on miami beach i was living on the beach in miami beach i was working at denny's and um every like week and a half i would get a motel room so i could shower all that sand off because like i said i was living in the beach that's when this song comes to when i hear this and this is when mariah was good this is early mariah this i think this was the second come on man let me do this i think this was the second album uh, the first one came out in 89, so this, I think, and this is 91. And this is when she still was with um, Tommy Mottola, if I'm not mistaken. So she had lush vocals. It was less hip hop -y. It was very lush and like a soaring kind of a thing. And this particular song, Can't Let Go, is such a beautiful performance and such like a heart rend, is it rending? Heart rending? Type of, um, especially when she gets into the later part, like she's basically shaking her man or her ex-man by the shoulder saying, can't you see how much you mean to me? I can't let you go. So, we have Old Man Best. It says, first time hearing this. If he's an old man, I can't imagine how this is the first time. But, we're gonna give it a shot. This is Mariah Carey, Can't Let Go. Let me put my headphones on, let's do this. All right. Um, the name of this channel is Reacting to Reactors Reacting. That's a lot of typing if you're looking for me. But if you look at my profile picture, you'll see that there's R with the little three. That three is cubed, like to the third power. Reacting to Reactors Reacting, three. But I guarantee you, 99% of y'all don't know how to type that Q symbol. Alt, zero, take it away. And that's how you do it. So if you're looking for me, which I hope you do, first of all, subscribe so it's it's automatic, and then hit the like a uh, the bell, and that'll notify you. But if you're not gonna subscribe, but then you're thinking like, hey, I wonder what he's doing over there. R, Alt, zero one seven nine. Remember the jingle. I think I'll play it again. Here we go. Hold down the alt key and type zero one seven nine. When you release the alt key, the cube symbol should appear right in front of your eyes.
your eyes. And there it is, Mariah Carey. This song is very special to me. Very special. Um, the song is To the End of Time. You can tell I've had it in Japan because it's got that line in it. This album came out in CD, came out in 1991. As I said, I was in Japan. This song, I need to cut this down. I could tell you the long story, but you don't want to hear that. <laughs> Till the end of time, this song is not just underrated. Nobody even knows this song exists. It's like the, it's number nine out of 10 tracks on the album emotion and there was a lot of hits emotion emotions can't let go make it happen uh i guess that's about it i was reluctant to do this reaction to this song right now because i'm a low subscribe subscriber haver and i'm only trying to go to channels you re, you know react to reactors who are low subscribers as well i'm not trying to do that but we all suck down here our videos suck so this song means so much to me let me just tell you the short version please don't click off as a matter of fact click subscribe and like and share and all of that stuff when this album came out that song i was into like writing you know like screenplays and stuff and i wrote a movie about a uh a black guy who fell in love with a Japanese girl and they, you know, got together and he did something really horrible, cheated on her, maybe something worse. I can forget because, like I said, it's back in 91. Oh, and he was an alcoholic. That was part of it, the thing, too. And um, he did something horrible and she left him. They lived in America and she went back to Japan. And he wanted to win her back. So he needed to get, he needed to fix all of the stuff, whatever the problems were. I know alcoholism was one of them. So you see a little montage at the end of the movie after she leaves him and he hits rock bottom. And he's like, I need to get her back, but I gotta earn her. I need to get rid of all this bad shit in my life. And part of it was the alcoholism. So you see this montage where he, you know, throws all the alcohol out of his house. You see him in AA meetings. And then whatever his other issues, you see him working on it. And then we as an audience, we see that he actually accomplished something this goal of being worthy of this woman who was a good woman who left him because she couldn't watch him kill himself with the drinking or whatever the thing was this song to the end of time was the music that played under the montage in my head that played under the montage of that movie of him throwing his alcohol out and going to trip uh triple a going to aa uh, and then as this song crescendos at the end, this guy lands in Japan. He shows up at her house, not stalker. This was not stalker. You show up at somebody's house. Now you get arrested, but <laughs> he shows up and she's wanting him to show up because she wants it. She wants the, the good him. And if he turned all this shit around and became good. So anyway, this is the song that was playing during that montage. I didn't want to watch somebody react to it because this song means so much to me. And us down here in the low end, the shitty neighborhood of YouTube, all of our videos suck. Most of our videos suck. We try hard, but we suck. And I didn't want to see somebody sucking to this, but I decided it doesn't matter what they do. The song means to me what it means to me. So, all right. I only want to put out good vibes. The, again, the name of this channel is Reacting to Reactors Reacting. His face is not very expressive. And we can only interpret things how we interpret them, right? So maybe that's how when he hears this and he says he understands the lyrics, this is how he feels and this is how it comes out of him. I see the lyrics 
as n not lightweight at all that would allow me to snap my fingers to it. I need to decide if I'm gonna be cutthroat and, and do what I need to do or I'm just gonna try to keep this positive thing because I love this song. I didn't like that reaction. Although I liked what he said at the end, I liked some of the stuff he did in the reaction. Am I gonna school myself in the middle of a reaction video? I couldn't do this off camera. I just gotta go with the visceral feeling that I have and not the intellectual feeling. I understand what this young man seems like a nice guy and like earnest. But the reaction, the reactor score, I couldn't feel it because I didn't see it in his face and his breakdown was personal at the end. Like he likes reacting to Mariah. And he said, I don't get the most views from it. Saying all that is like you understand what she's saying, but when you, if you understood what she's saying, it doesn't reflect. That's what's fucking me up. Cause it's, I don't see it. You, your words kind of bounce around what it is, but I don't see it when you're listening to it. All right. So my arbitrary score for this, for the reactor, I'm just a five. Because that's right in the middle where I don't know if it's good, if if this is a form of reaction. 830 views. So I might be right on this. I, I, I question whether I understand younger people. And like they say, okay, grandpa, you don't get it. This is how we do things. This is how we listen to stuff. This is how we react. If that's true, then, but based on 830 views since May of last year, should I read the comments? The backing vocals, so they're talking about the music, beautiful song. This is from 91. Everybody's talking about the song, not him. So, all right, so the reactor score, five down the middle. Accuracy of the reaction, he didn't talk about like, what it was about did he about it being how desperate of a song to the end of time i don't know if it's an age thing if you can understand when if somebody were to say that how much weight that carries if they're not one of these people that always everything is a superlative like this is the biggest right in my day <laughs> you don't say shit unless you mean shit and to say, I would love you till the end of time. That means something. So, and he didn't express that. So, I'm giving him a, I'm not even down the middle, a three on that. And then overall production, is he like in a, being held by Al Qaeda or something? <laughs> Was that necessary? Uh, it looks like a, like a hostage video like patty hearst is over in the corner but anyway everybody gets a 10 on production all right that's it that's enough for this all right thank you so much for watching i hope you subscribe and i'll see you in the next video so you want to know how to type the three cube symbol in the top right hold down the alt key and type zero one seven nine when you release the alt key the cube symbol should appear right in front of your eyes, and that is how you type the cube symbol.